friends, I'm Han, otherwise known as Han Embroiders. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is going to be my first ever weekly embroidery vlog. It's going to be a weekly series where I basically just show you everything that I've embroidered during that week. So for this week I wanted to do a quick little get to know me segment. I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram and I got a bunch of responses, which I'm super grateful for. So I'm gonna hop right into that whilst I finish embroidering these uh, Something Blue Converse for Ellie. Um, these are being shipped out today and these are gonna be Ellie's shoes for her wedding. She's getting married uh, next year, I believe, and yeah. Uh, I'll show you the finished product obviously when I'm done embroidering these and I'll also show you um, the pair of shoes that I finished yesterday and I'll show you these once they're done, a couple close-ups of the stitches and stuff so you guys can see exactly how I made these and then yeah I'll jump right into the get to know me segment. So Hayley Elliott asked what age did you start embroidering? So I started embroidering with my nana when I was about seven-ish years old. Um, she taught me how to embroider, a little bit of crochet, and how to knit. I was a big scarf knitter back in the day. Yeah, she taught me how to embroider, taught me all the basic stitches. We used to embroider a lot of hoops together, hoop art embroidery, and I actually have one of her finished pieces uh, behind me on my wall right here. Yeah, I have a couple of pictures of her on my backdrop wall so she's always in here with me when I'm working. Throughout the years I found myself like coming back to embroidery just doing like a couple of smaller things like I would embroider stuff for friends. I used to do a lot of backpack embroidery. Always just loved how therapeutic and how calming it felt to spend my time embroidering and then about five years ago I started hand embroiders I started my business yeah that's when all of the shoe craziness kicked off and I kind of found my niche I found the area that I love working in the most which is embroidering shoes I just really love doing that on a day-to-day -day basis and I can't wait to keep embroidering more shoes. A quick condensed answer to that question would be I started embroidering at around age seven and I am turning 28 next year so over 20 years I guess around 20 years at the minute so yeah thank you for asking that question Hayley Elliott. On to the next question. So Skulls and Books asked, favourite thread type to work with and how much of a difference is there between the types slash brands? And this is a great question because there are so many different brands and manufacturers of embroidery floss and I think a lot of people when they at least uh, get into embroidery start to get into the craft they think everything has to be DMC. Now DMC is a fantastic brand, I believe a French brand, French company uh, and they manufacture really really high quality embroidery floor which I often use in a lot of my embroidery designs specifically my pet shoes because it's very very easy to pick out a specific color because they have a really great color key guide and then they number all of their flosses if you're just practicing and you're trying to get into the craft and you're just trying to get more experience you definitely don't need to you know spend like hundreds of dollars on a bunch of different dmc colored threads this is a skein you can get like uh 360 different ones of these in different colors on Amazon for like 20 bucks. I would recommend going with some much cheaper options that give you more variety with a much lower price point. Next question. It's Music Loving Maya asked, how long does it typically take for each shoe? So the design that I'm working on today, my Something Blues, um, this is obviously a high top Converse shoe and I only offer this design on high top shoes. And I also offer free personalization on the backs of the shoes, which I will be adding soon. This specific design takes me about four hours to finish. But if I was doing, let's say, a pet shoe and the customer had ordered two pets, that takes me around six to seven hours. So I'll say just a broad range here. 
it can take me anywhere from two and a half hours to nine hours to complete a shoe, totally depending on the design, on what kind of shoe it is, because I do work a lot on high top shoes. I work a lot on low top canvas shoes like Vans and low top Converse and Keds and Hey Dudes. And each design will take me a different amount of time. Okay, next question. Jenna asked, um, what is your favorite color? This is such a cute question. I love the color yellow. I've always been partial to the color yellow, but I also love the color green, like a sage green or like a light forest green. It's just a very calming color and I love plants and greenery. So I'd say the color green is probably, has edged out yellow at this point in my life. So the last question I'm going to be answering is, how do you spend your time while you're embroidering? Do you watch any shows or anything like that? So I love to listen to audiobooks and I also love listening to podcasts. Back to back, I listened to A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of War and Ruin, uh, A Court of Frost and Starlight, and then A Court of Silver Flames. 20,000 out of 10 would recommend. My husband actually got me an Audible subscription for my birthday, which I use every single day when I'm embroidering here in my studio. I feel like I'm watching a movie, but I'm like creating it in my mind. So recently I listened to Fourth Wing and then I listened to the second Fourth Wing installment. I forget what it's called. Something about the Imperium. I did enjoy the storyline, just wasn't like life changing for me, but I would recommend it if you like fantasy romance in general. Audiobooks, music, podcasts. What are my favorite podcasts, you might ask? I love Brittany Broski. Anything that she does, I'm just eating it up. Another podcast that I watch a lot of is the Two Hot Takes podcast. They read Reddit stories and basically just give their takes on it. And I really like that. That podcast just makes me feel like I'm like hanging out with some friends while I'm working. Those are just a handful of things that I like to do while I'm embroidering. I tend to just stick to things that I can listen to and things that are easy for me to consume in headphones or just audio form. So that's gonna be it for the get to know me segment. But now I am going to get to finishing these something blues. So I just finished this shoe. I have this one done as well. Embroidered on <laughs> both sides. This customer is just having her future married name on one shoe and then her wedding date on the other shoe. So I'm gonna get that done quick and then I will show you guys the finished shoes. So I have finished the something blues. And this design is on monochrome white Converse All Stars. So the circle converse logo looks like this and this is what the embroidery design looks like close up on both sides super cute and while this design is bridal and it's aimed towards you know brides and people in general that want to have a little something blue included on their big day i also think that these would just be super cute with like a pair of jeans like for everyday use, if you were just treating yourself to a pair of hand embroidered converse. I really, really like this design. So the personalization that Ellie went with, Mrs. Corn, which is her future married name on one shoe, and then she got her wedding date on the other shoe. They're just really personal for her, for her big day. So yeah, I'm gonna package these up for Ellie in Texas and uh, get those shipped out to her as soon as possible. And then I'm quickly gonna show you the shoe that I finished yesterday. And I'm gonna show those to you now because those are a completely different kind of shoe. This is, I believe, the Birch colorway in the Vans slip-ons. And the lady that ordered these, she's getting married on her 10 year anniversary. So on one shoe, it says October the 11th, 2014. And then this shoe, is October the 11th, 2024. This lady sent me a photo of her bouquet and I just color match the colors in her bouquet and the greenery in her bouquet. So these are shipping out today as well. Super cute, I love any 
bridal slip on shoe i just feel like it would be super easy to just pop these on for the reception maybe you could just wear them for the whole day that's probably what i would do really love the colorway of the shoe it's like uh like a beigey white it's really cute so shipping these off today and that kind of wraps it up for the embroidery i did today and yesterday and i will see you guys tomorrow when i'll be working on a completely different shoe so uh see you then hi guys it's wednesday and i'm just finishing up these bridal cards for abby in michigan and all i need to do to finish these off is add the greenery and the little uh the pollen parts of the flower and i just need to add a couple more accents to these to finish them off i just wanted to note that yesterday when i answered some of the instagram questions that you guys had asked me i think i just went in and answered the questions that i had been asked the most rather than answering like personal questions about my pets that people had seen maybe in the background of my social media posts. I fully plan on answering those in the part two get to know me segment which will be in next week's vlog and I'll get to maybe some of the better questions that you guys asked. I also did get a lot of questions asking me for tips on growing your Etsy business, on starting an Etsy business, on choosing a craft to focus your Etsy business around. I think I might make a separate video based around Etsy success, starting a new Etsy business, turning a hobby into a job, which I don't always recommend. So I would definitely love to make a video on that. And something super exciting happened last week. The Han Embroiders Instagram page hit over 100,000 followers, which is so exciting and just kind of heartwarming as a small business owner that has grown their online presence from absolutely nothing, from a big fat zero. I just would like to thank everybody that has been following along. So I've just finished up Abby's shoes and I wanted to show you guys a close up of the stitches. So her colour scheme was black and ivory. I added in some dark green sprigs for accents and then I also added a lighter ivory as the inner parts of the flowers and then I just embroidered her future married name, Mrs. Patton, in black thread. And then I use the same black thread and the same coloured greenery to accent the insides of the shoes. So I'll be shipping these off today to Abby in Michigan. As we all know, I am a sucker for any kind of bridal sneaker. I just feel like it really makes sense to be super comfortable on your big day and also just have something that's a little personal and custom to you that you can maybe keep as a keepsake. Another thing I love about bridal sneakers is they can be worn for years after your big day. So you're not buying a pair of heels or something super uncomfortable that you're only gonna wear one time. I don't typically tend to do a lot of black flowers within bouquets when I embroider bridal shoes, but I think these turned out super classy. Absolutely love the way the embroidery turned out on these keds and I will be shipping these out to Abby in Michigan today. Hi friends, happy Thursday at this point. These are my boho platform high top converse. The colours I use in this listing are all very neutral which makes them super popular with people that don't necessarily like bright pops of colours on their shoes. These are quite a popular wedding shoe on my Etsy page, but the buyer of these shoes has opted not to have any personalization on the backs of the shoes. So I'll just be going in and finishing the greenery on these shoes while I chat to you guys. So we have about four days until Christmas at the time of recording this. So I have been watching some Christmas movies in the background while I've been working. And one that I watched this morning was Love Actually, which is leaving Netflix. So if you haven't watched it and you have Netflix, go and watch it. For me, it's a super nostalgic movie and it just gives me all the Christmas feels, even though I found myself criticising the movie a little bit more today as I was listening and embroidering because there's a lot of infidelity within that movie that I didn't, I guess I didn't like register it before, but it's a Christmas movie, but there's a lot of scandalous things that happen, but I personally just love it because of all the British accents and like the OG British actors like young Hugh Grant. His little intro at the beginning where he's like talking about Heathrow Airport. Oh, 
my heart. I always fly into Heathrow Airport when I go home, so I just, that movie has a special place in my heart. I think I'm gonna suggest to my husband that we watch Elf together later while I wrap some of the presents that I haven't wrapped yet for our dog and our cat. Yes, I am that pet mom. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish off a couple of stitches that I have left to do on this shoe right here. I just have this little section to finish and then I'll show you the shoes up close so you guys can see the stitches and the colorway. As I mentioned before, this shoe does come with a very neutral color palette, unless the customer has asked me for a custom color scheme, which I can always color match. Okay, so these neutral boho platforms are all finished. I'm gonna show you some close-ups of the stitches. So here is how they look a little bit closer up. The greenery is a bit different to the greenery I usually do on my something blues. I usually include two different tones of green on these shoes, whereas on the something blues, I just go with one tone of green, but I do the branches in a brown color. And here is the inside of the shoe. I really love how the two different tones of greens really contrast with each other and just blends in with the other neutral tones on the shoe. So these beauties will be shipping off to Madison in Virginia today. So I'll be packaging these up and sending them off shortly. For those of you who have stuck around for this long and are still watching, I'd just love to say thank you so much for joining me on my first ever What I Embroidered This Week vlog. And I hope you'll tune into the next one, which I'll probably upload in early January, since I am having a couple of days off over the Christmas period. And if you and your loved ones do celebrate Christmas, I hope that you guys have a fabulous holiday season. If you haven't already, I would so appreciate it if you could subscribe and turn your notifications on, maybe leave me a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next embroidery vlog.